Welcome back to the jungle. Gonna be playing Zyra into Talon. Sounds like an atrocious matchup. Now with Zyra jungle, I'm convinced that uh, Arcane Common is probably the best room. Dark Harvest is like ran the most, but I played, well, I have quite a history of playing champions like this, like Morgana jungle, and then also with Fiddlesticks. And with Fiddlesticks, back in the day, Arcane Comet was the best room for him too, because even though it was less damage early, it's not about your early damage at all on champions like this. We very much full clear, and we're very much a defensive champion too. And another thing with Arcane Comet is that the more AoE damage, the more instances of damage that you get, the more Ar Arcane Comet procs you can build up, and then the Arcane Comets are also AoE, so it can damage multiple targets. It has similar aspects to the Dark Harvest in terms of like functionality, with probably being lower damage in the early game, but then I think it's going to be more in the late game. So that's why I ran it. We also have Nimbus Cloak giving us more movement speed whenever we smite someone, which is probably going to be used defensively, to be honest. And I'm running Blue Smite for that same reason, so that we can have more maneuverability when it comes to team fights. Transcendence, so that we can cast the abilities more often. In hindsight, I think I probably should have ran um, Absolute Focus, so it'd simply have more damage. Because with Zyra, we're basically always full HP. Or we're dead, so that makes things pretty simple with Absolute Focus. The clear is almost done here. This clear is surprisingly fast. Every time I play this champ, I'm absolutely like confused of how I clear the jungle so fast just by kind of clicking around and then autoing a couple times. Plant should finish these off. Nice. Now since bot lane's pushed in, I don't have a play, so I'll just move into Talon's jungle, see if we can find them. See if we can't poke them out just a little bit. Wow, you are so low, huh? Phew. Okay. This would be Fiddlestick's flank, but it's honestly not that big of a deal. Wow, I guess I get your blue buff, huh? Not even well played by me either. I shouldn't spend the E that early. I'm just rolling, huh? Clear and fast. Kicking this Talon's ass. Huh? 20 CS. So he's going to take that Scuttle, but that means his Gromp should be up. But the Gromp is down in the Fog of War here. Huh. I can look for this play and then reset. I also have Flash. Oh, wait, I missed my Q. Sorry. Auto. 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 Sorry. Sorry. QW. No, I couldn't have played that worse. I have him rooted and I missed my Q. Uh, I will show me to buffer the abilities like that. Alrighty, we die. I don't think Talon gets into my blue side though. And then for the build here, I'll be going Leandri's into, I think, Zonia's as my second item. Even though they have a lot of AP here, it's a lot of burst, like Fiddlesticks and Syndra. And then with Talon and Cassante, I can't deal with those champions whenever they dive. So it's more about how I deal with the diving champions and... Really? No. Oh than how I would deal with the enemy range champions whenever we're like fighting evenly. Phew. Ooh, that is not bad. Alright, we'll keep clearing down to the bot side here. The more ganks I get on Fiddlestick Swain bot lane before they're level 6, the better. I want those guys to be weak and useless. Pike has a flank on this, so I can try to follow up. It's up to them to set up the fight, though. T, e, W, Q, W, auto. Nice. I wish he didn't take the kill, though. The faster I get to my Leandris, like, the faster I just take over the game. Wow, these raptors are so scattered. What's the deal? Hey, Pike. What? Guys. Guys. I've never seen the jungle camps move around this much. Hmm? Cinder doesn't TP back. I'm going to keep clearing. Again, I want to get this gank off on bot lane before they're level 6 again. Ugh. I forgot to mention, too. I'm running the attack speed shard, surely that speeds up the clear. It's very hard to beat the attack speed. Uh, <laughs> uh, e, W, Q, auto, moving, auto, moving. Oh, I have ulti. I can win. Ulti, W. 
Bink. Bink. You're dead. You're dead. E. Really? Okay. Eventually here. I just need to guarantee that I get the... You know, it's all yours. <laughs> I had it, man, but all yours. So because I farmed all these camps so fast, got his blue buff, those golems gave me level 6. And easy enough to show up to a lane where they're level 4 and then I'm level 6. Just clean them up. So now I'm just trying to power into those Leandris. Again, clear all the camps and do a play. I can also compare Zyra to like Ivern or... I guess it's just Ivern, like Ivern jungle. It's kind of a defensive champion, but in Zyra's case, her defensive aspects come from her ability to deal damage, and especially deal damage whenever the enemy champions dive onto her or her team. But then the flip side is, whenever you move into neutral space or offensive space, then shit. Then it's much worse for you. Okay, you're <laughs> level 5, man. Level 5, get it together. But even though this Rift Herald's coming up, we do not care. All about my gold generation here. Dude. Nice. Pretty bad approach by the Pike. If the Pike wants to kill onto the Fiddlesticks, then... He could play in the Fog of War here, and then try to catch out the Fiddlesticks. Damn, I keep missing this Q like that. When the enemy moves. Oh boy. When they're standing still, easy. Just like in bot lane. I bet I could do the dragon super quick. Oh, you guys are fighting without me. Okay. They can push the bot wave and then I'll look for a flank here. That's one. Come on, plants. Come on, plants. Smite, auto. E, W. Holy shit, I'm kicking their ass. Nice! I think I can do Dragon, too. This is so surprisingly strong. And listen, I'm on my main account. We're in Master slash Grandmaster. We're not in Pooplo here. The enemy's made some mistakes, but damn, I'm surprised at just the power that Zyra alone has. So we want to do this Dragon quickly, and then I could skip the Golems to get back to the top side and just protect the Rift Herald. It's not so much about us taking it, it's that... We want to defend a lot on the map, and if the enemy can't attack it, then we can get it later. Very much control style, very much. Already Leandri sword pin boots, and then back to the top side. Dink, dink. Control ward 2, put that bad boy on the map, and then we're good to go. <clears throat> My up camps on Talon, 14, 14 on my jungle item, and then 19 on his. Yep. I don't say we're doing it better. What? You are out of your mind, and that's the thing. QW. Take this damage, big man. I'm gonna kick your ass. You have fiddlesticks top, but, like, good luck. Auto, E. Close on the E, I'll be honest. Oh, ulti. It's all about keeping this distance, too. QW, auto, E. Auto. QW? Nah, too much. Oh! Nice, no Cinder ulti. Okay, Rift Herald time. The Talon is out of his fucking mind moving into my blue side like that. He doesn't have the juice, he doesn't have the balls, like he don't have nothing going for him. What is he hoping for? This guy's at 14 HP. <laughs> Careful. This is another power of the Leandris too. The first game I played on Zyra Jungle, I went Demonic. I'm trying to play it kind of like um, like Lilia Jungle or something. But I realized that you don't 
take any damage. You're always the back line, so it's more important to have like full AP build. And then Leandri's is like your highest damage item in that case. And then Leandri's speeding up clearing the camps, but then also speeding up doing the objectives. Honestly, with the upcoming changes to the jungle item where they're going to nerf, the amount of damage... You're going to take more damage from the objectives, and then deal a little bit less ambient damage. Whoa, this guy's walking right into him. Ulti! Nice. And then we can drop the Rift Herald here. Oh yeah, the plants don't hit the turret, my bad. Nice. This is a lot of gold for both of us. Any damage I can deal to Swain helps. Whoa, this guy's diving? Oh, I should have kept tanking, sorry. I didn't know you wanted to do it like that. Moving. EWQ. <laughs> wow. Alrighty, and another plate. It would take too long to do that next plate. Since I have so much gold... Oh, wait, wait, Talon showed bot. Okay, Talon kills my AD bot, so I can actually take the red side here. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, wow, we got the whole mid turret? Damn. It's another thing with Zyra, we can just walk away from those camps, no problem. Whenever you kill one of these things too, it refreshes the W cooldown. Therefore, like, increasing your clear speed. My whole team's dying, no problem. So long that I'm farming. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, this is not the spot I want to be. Water walking, run away. Now, if I'm Talon, I flip into Zyra's jungle and then try to kick his ass, so... Let's see if he does that. Not this time. Wow, he uses his thing. Smite? E, W, Q? I'll just use ulti like this, I don't care. Q. Oh, close. I think I still have him. Move down like this. You always want to align yourself left to right rather than diagonally. So much easier to land the skill shots. Don't tell challenger top laners that play. I'm so rich. I can't believe how fed I am. Then we'll just go into Zonia's, I think. Clear down to the... Uh, let's skip our blue side, actually. Dragon's up in 30. But nobody has ultis. Nah, I'm doing my whole blue side. If you guys spent your ultis before this fight, I'm good. Enemy jungler's dead. I'm good. I'm gonna ramp so far past this guy, it's gonna be unreal. Phew. I think I can pull these together now, too. If I even have to. Go ahead and smite this. Just get me down to the bot side faster. Come on. Go ahead. Invincible Gromp. Maxing the E second. Maxing the E increases the root duration, which is very important if the enemy dives. Whereas the W could give you more DPS in a way, since it gives you more seeds. But I think on jungle, having more CC should be better. I'm not kinda I'm not really sold on like one or the other. But with my team comp 2, oh, there's no red buff. I wasted my seeds. With my team comp 2, we kind of go in. So I think it loses a little bit of value of like if I have more seeds. But I'm not sure. I don't have a ton of experience on this champion. As any healthy young man shouldn't have. Oh, I can cheese the Syndra. It's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, I know we should do dragon, but also... What if we cheese this guy, huh? What if we just totally cast every ability at him? This is working out just fine. I'm surprised. The clear is, like, pretty quick, too, so... It'd be kind of hard to invade Zyra. Alrighty, finish up the dragon, and then I'm looking to... Well, I already spent my ulti. I just need to be in position for if the enemy was to fight my team. So it's like, who's pushing up? Twitch? Nefiri. They're trying to attack the gangplank, so I'll just walk topside. We don't have to do any offensive plays. We're more like a cock block than, <laughs> than anything else. Get up there, quick! Okay, where's the fight going? This way? 
E, W, Q. So, like, this is so strong. Nah, but they're screwed. Check it out. E, W. Oh, I didn't get my W off. Shit. This is Syndra TP. It's fine. Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, I don't die to her ulti. I'll go ahead and reset. I have the Zonia's completion, and then I can get back to the top side faster with more items. They're so screwed. Zonia's, and then I'll go Death Cap as my last item here, so I'll just get a Control Ward. Totally fine, since it's not very contentious here. With Zyro, one thing I understand is that more AP makes her like uber strong because she's not supposed to get it, so surely Death Cap would be my best third item here. I could go something more like mid-range, like Rylize. I'm not interested in that. I I'm so fed. I'm so fed and the enemy is so screwed. They're so weak. I want to see my, like, one plant solo kill an enemy champion. And not in Pooplo either, in Master Tier here. He's wagging Pooplo. Saw you're on his main. Master tier is Pooplo. Okay, I agree. <laughs> I agree, but... Wow. Okay, let's push. 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 You want to save the Rift Herald for these base turrets, though? Definitely too lax to cast them on this. Full combo. No problem. Q, W. Oh, I missed my Q. E. They're so weak. Poor guys. Push. Wanna keep the Rift Herald alive. Alrighty, GG. Final score 7, 1, and 10. With Leandri's dealing uh, 1,000. Now that entire game, did you even see a point in which it would have mattered where if I had Dark Harvest versus the Arcane Comet page. The Arcane Comet page, like, the entire tree is so much more for Zyra jungle, in my opinion. And I bet, like, a lot of people can't see it. But I have experience running this exact same page. Um, instead of Transcendence, we'd have Absolute Focus on Fiddlesticks. And it was so strong on Fiddlesticks because you ulti in, you're hitting multiple targets. Zyra always wants to be hitting multiple targets. And then you can get multiple uh, Arcane Comet procs off. But in this case, Zyra has like a defensive Nimbus Cloak. The enemy jumps on me, I smite, I run away. They can't win. If everything's good, they can't win. Water walking, kind of whatever. Free boots, kind of whatever. And then Cosmic Insight, kind of whatever as well. But I don't see like any stronger alternatives. So, already that puts us at Masters 210 LP. That might even promote me to Grandmaster on this account. We'll see. It's pretty low in NA right now, but yeah. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.